Hi, I'm David. I'm the founder and CEO of SuperThread. SuperThread is a ultra-fast project management software specifically crafted for small multifunctional teams. It's familiar to devs and non-devs. It has everything you need. Tasks, docs, backlogs, Kanban boards, gun charts, all inside of one tightly integrated piece of software. All right, let me show you how SuperThread works using a real-world example. Because I'm the product manager, I'm going to start by creating a spec. Our specs live inside of the product space. I'm going to open it and go to it. Here's the spec I'm currently working on. It's called Payments and Billing V1. And you can collaborate with people on it by inviting them to type with you in real time or simply by using inline comments, which can be found here. When you mention somebody, they get a notification and they go inside of their inbox and check it. This is where you get your notifications for everything that happens that's of interest to you. All right, let's go back to the spec. And so the next step would be to create an epic card. You can do this by typing slash and searching for card. When you hit enter, the board that shows up automatically as the destination for me is the roadmap board because I'm the product manager. Anyway, here's the epic we created earlier. I'm gonna click on it. And as you can see, it opens side by side with a spec document. When it comes to the epic cards, you can also collaborate inside of them in real time. I've then asked my tech and design lead to break down this epic into child cards, which they've done. As you can see, some of the cards live inside of the design board and some of them live inside of the active development board, which is inside of the engineering space. I can jump to these cards very easily by just simply clicking on them, like so. And then if I want to go back, I just click here. And the same goes for any other cards. You can also peek inside of them by holding down shift and mouse overing them. We can also see that this card is part of a company initiative called monetization. This particular card lives inside of the initiatives board. So if I click on it, it's going to open up. But if I click on the initiatives board, you can see that here we use the gun chart view. This is so we can plan easily. You can move these items like this and change the start and the end date. This is a normal board with a gun chart layout. We can also display this board as a list or a normal Kanban board. But for this particular board, we're gonna stick with the timeline view or gun chart view. Let's now jump to our roadmap board and our payment epic. These cards are very powerful. They have tags, due dates, estimates, priority, related cards. What I can also do is favorite this card by just clicking here and this card will then show up inside of my favorites. All right, so if I want to find any of these things that I was talking about earlier, I don't have to go inside of the spaces or favorites. I can simply search for them. So if I want to find the payment plan, all I have to do is click on the command K on my keyboard and search for standard plan. It opens up automatically for me. Thanks for watching this video. We really appreciate it. If you want to try the product, just go to our site and sign up. Or if you have any ideas or you want to reach out, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.